All right, so we got one more for you guys. Let's bring up Nunca. So this right here is Nunca, and she's also been studying the Bible. And the awesome thing is, is that a lot of these girls grew up together, wow. like since middle school. And there's a few sisters also in the crowd that grew up with the same girls. And so it's like a whole friend group getting baptized. So I'm super proud of you. And the girls are going to share. So, Nuka, I just wanted to say I'm just super grateful just to be put in your life. Like, just your humility and your love for God. Like, you always just strive. You're like, yep, this is what the scripture says. And this is how I need to go after it. Like, today, like, you went through full repentance. Like, you're like, no, like, I'm going to get baptized today because that's my heart. And God loves me and I love him even more. You know, so I'm just super thankful just to be here with you. Um, I'm just so happy to be um, here with Nunca. Um, you, guys, you know when you study with somebody, you can tell that they just have a deep love and a reverence for God. Yeah. Like, I just feel it in my soul. I'm just so happy for you. Um, she is also so humble. Uh, I'm getting kind of nervous, so my mind is uh, jumbling. But I do want to share a scripture that reminds me of her. It's Psalm 73, and it's uh, starting at 20, verse 20. Five. It says, whom have I in heaven but you, and earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. And I just know that that's your heart, um, and just, do, just by today, just you doing everything that you can to be in God's kingdom, it just shows that you are here for God, and you have such deep love for him. That's all. Come Thank on. you. happy to be here. I think I've been putting off baptism for so long. I was raised in a Christian home, but every year I would, I would say, every 31st I would come to church, and then I would say, January, I'm going to get baptized. Mm -hmm. And this is the third year where I've said it, and this year I've actually done it. Come on. But yeah. Come on. So I'm going to ask you the two most important questions of your entire life. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, died for your sin, was buried, resurrected on the third day, and now is seated at the right hand of God? Yes. And what your good confession, because of, oh, so sorry. What is your good confession? <laughs> Jesus is Lord. <laughs> and because of your good confession, we cannot baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All your sins will be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, and your name will be written in the book of life. I've got a home. I've got a home. I've got a crown. I've got a crown. I've got a love. I've got 